Hello, my fellow oysters. It's your pack leader, so oyster five here, and today I'm back with another video. In this video, I am doing a Army Man stop motion review where I'm taking the people that submitted for the contest and reviewing their videos. And as always, guys, like and subscribe for more content. Let's get right into it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just comment down below. I'm willing to see look at any other person's stop motion video. The links to these videos will be in the description below. Make sure to check out these channels. This first video is by Army Men Stop Motion Films. As you can tell, this is a base-like um, advancement games where the Americans are fighting off against the Germans. Later in the video, you see that the Russians come and help them which overall throws off the enemy and drives them out. Now, the one thing I do like about this video is the special effects and the amount of frames they're using. I will say one thing, though. The only main criticism I have is sometimes the words aren't really clear, which that will develop with more confidence. Um, along with when there's a lot, a lot of talking scenes, there's a lot of moving back and forth, acting like they're kind of hectic a little bit. If you just, um, just, uh, add more frames instead of a lot of back and forth between each, uh, rotation of the person, it would work out quite fine. Overall, this, uh, film by Army Men... Stop motion productions is pretty well balanced. I say just keep working at it and it'll be amazing. I do really enjoy uh, these Lego tanks as well. I don't even want to know how much they cost. But yeah, do check out his channel. He still does videos to this day. He has his most recent one came out around a week ago. Do check it out. But overall, um, yeah, I would say the main thing is work on the frames when talking. This next film is by Stop Motion TV. In this video, it's an escort mission that the Greens have to take their sergeant, I believe, through enemy territory to get back to the green so territory um, the one thing I really now, like about this film is that it's actually really smooth uh, the character models are pretty nice along with uh, the frame rate that they're using now the one since he's a little bit younger I don't know if he's been doing it for years or what uh, this is something that will develop when you keep doing stop motion uh, there's a lot of repeating of phrases now this is okay when you're first starting out it's something that will develop but when I try to make a stop motion I try to make it seem like it's realistic so keep saying things like, um, Good job, men. We may have go some kill him or fire, or well fire is normal, so but go. things that job, the normal people don't really say is something that will be worked on. But overall I do like the frame rate of them talking. It's not as, uh, rotating much when the person's talking, like in the last one. Uh, But overall, this is not a bad film. I think if you just keep working on the dialogue, it'd be an amazing film. Now, I'm not saying this stuff to be mean. It's just constructive criticism. Which everybody can improve in stop motion. You know, I'm not amazing at it. I'm getting better at it. But just keep working at it, and you guys will be really good stop motion animators don't forget to check out stop motion tv his link will also be in the description 
This next film is made by Pacific War Animation. This uh, video, I don't think it was entered into the contest, but he said he was going to join, so I just found his newest one at the time and just put it into my one folder. But the whole plot of this film is a group of around 12 men are sent on a mission to rescue a sergeant. The sergeant is the second hand man, I'm assuming, to the general of the, I believe, Green or Gray Army. It's kind of hard to tell a little bit because of the glare. But as you can tell in this animation, there's a lot of special effects being used, which I do not mind. But a lot of the gunfire and stuff that's being used in this animation kind of doesn't really make sense for it. If uh, that's understand, um, like a lot of those dirt marks are usually caused by bullet fire. There's only around, I would say, six to ten enemies that they had to go through, which just will, uh, his plot will eventually develop. Uh, at the time, this guy was just starting out with stop motion animation. Uh, his frame rate is good. I do like it. I love his audio. I mean, his dialogue. Some of the dialogue, like towards the end, doesn't really work for her military situations. But overall, this is a solid film by Pacific and War Animation. Well, that's the last video that I have for you guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, uh, how down in co comments below, like and subscribe. Uh, if you guys want me to do another video like this, uh, just tell me in the comments. Or send me a link of your videos. Overall, I did enjoy these uh, videos. Uh, obviously, with younger stop-motion animators, uh, things will develop and get better. So, I was glad to be able to take the time and possibly help out these young stop-motion animators. Uh, I say, guys, just keep sticking with it. Because stop-motion is one of those things that... Uh, if you keep working at it, you improve. But hope you all like this video. How down in the comments below for more. We'll see you all in the next video. See ya.